Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Basics with me. This is me Bhanu and today we will see class 9th, 5th chapter which is Euclid's Geometry or the introduction of Euclid's Geometry. So today we will only solve the questions which are given in our textbook exercise 5.1 and this is the first question that if a point C lies between A and B, if a point C lies between A and B such that your AC is equal to your BC then you need to prove that your AC is half of your B and C. So friends here the given is AC is equal to BC because it is given the question and point C lies between your A and B to prove you need to prove that your A C is half of your A B and then we will prove so friends before doing your question solution don't forget to write all this given to what to need to prove and then prove because in mathematics you will get the marks according to your steps so here I am writing a C is equal to B C so friends keep pay attention because this type of question you need to understand because this will not get by mugging up so you need to know how this can be solved so here I am writing this now <clears throat> you need to solve this you can do in math in your rough side suppose this is my rough you can write in your a notebook uh, on the right side and here a c is given my half of a b now you take this to here so here i will get 2 a c is equal to a sorry this is a b a b now 2 a c i have one a c but i need 2 a c okay and this side i need a b but i have only b c so what i will do i will add add AC on both sides so here I will get AC plus AC is equal to BC plus AC these are these both are equal and I am adding equal called quantities to equal quantities or you can say this is an axiom so here I am adding AC on both sides so I am getting AC plus AC here I am getting BC plus AC now suppose this is my first equation and now you can see that AC plus AC ok I got the two AC but here the BC BC plus AC AC ok this but what does it mean it means here that I can write so here I can write here BC plus AC is equal to BC plus AC is equal to AB why because because my BC plus BC plus AC coincides with a b because my ac plus bc is coinciding my uh, with my a b okay which is uh, our axiom so that's why you need to remember this axiom so that you can write if you write like this you will get full marks if you will write only up to here and you don't write this one then be, you might be know that this is the rule but if you are not writing here the reason why you wrote this so you your marks will get cut so friend this is my equation second now it is known that things which are equal to the same things are equal to the one another this is also my axiom which is the first axiom so here you need to understand that my in equation 1 and 2 my BC plus AC BC plus AC are equal 
so here my axiom is we know that things which are equal to the to the same thing are equal to one another friends you need to remember all these things now see things which are equal to the same things things which uh, correction things which are equal things which are equal to the same thing these two are the same thing so these a b and a c plus a c are equal to the same thing so i can write therefore from from equation 1 and 2 from equation 1 and 2 what can i write my ac plus ac is equal to this equal to ab here a b so here now i will get 2 ac is equal to ab now i need to find this i need to prove this so here i am keeping this ac and sending this to half here so i will get ab hence proved i hope friend this is clear now moving to the second question so this is the second question here if the point c is called the midpoint of line segment ab suppose this is the line segment and c is the midpoint now you have to prove that every line segment has one and only one midpoint this is your theorem that you have to prove here Okay, that the every line segment has one and only one midpoint. So here, given is C is the midpoint of the line segment AB, which is given. C is the midpoint of line segment AB. Now I have assumed that D, D be the another midpoint of AB. D is the another midpoint of A and B. Okay. Now we have two midpoints C and D for assume. Now to prove. every line segment has only one and has one and only one midpoint so in proof you have to write that let us assume d as another midpoint of ab if this is the midpoint of ab then i can write ad is equal to db and i have given this first so but it is also given that c is the midpoint of line segment ab so i can write ac is equal to c b this is the second one now now subtract now subtract equation number 1 from equation number 2 so this is my second equation so i am writing ac and what was my first equation my first equation was ad because d was the midpoint so ad is equal to db d and db so i am subtracting equation num this is my this was my first subtracting equation 1 from equation 2 so ac minus ad is equal to cb minus db d b now now here ac minus ad ac minus ad then the remaining will be my dc and here 
सी डी माइनस डी बी सॉरी करेक्शन सी बी माइनस डी बी सो हेयर द माय रिमाइंडर विल बी माइनस डी सी नाउ व्हेन दिस टर्म विल कम हेयर आई विल गेट डी सी प्लस डी सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो देन टू डी सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो देर फोर डी सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो डी सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो मीन्स डी सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो मीन्स योर पॉइंट सी एंड डी आर को इंसाइड्स देर फोर इट मीन्स इट मीन्स योर पॉइंट पॉइंट्स सी एंड डी को इंसाइड्स so coincides means there is only one point which we have proved so now moving to the next question now friend this is your the third question in which it is given that your this is your diagram in which a b c and d are on a line segment which are points and given that your a c is equal to your b d then you need to prove that your ab is equal to your cd now here given ac is equal to bd and to prove that ab ab is equal to cd so to prove here given is ac is equal to bd so here i can write ac ac means your ab plus B C I can write like this, and your this B D B and D I can write B C plus C D. Okay, now in this format. Now I, I, again I am writing in this form, so I am placing the value of A C here. So here A B plus B C. is equal to the value of bd bc plus c d this is your first equation now according to your euclid's axioms which one subtracted one so what does this subtracted one says that when equals are subtracted from equals the remainders are equal so here i am subtracting now subtract what now in this equation you are getting because you need to prove ab ab is equal to your cd ab okay and cd okay but here the bc is common in both so subtract bc from equation 1 so here on both side you can write on both sides so i am writing a sorry i am writing ab plus bc subtracting bc is equal to your bc plus cd subtracting again bc now here i will get cancel this here and here so here i am getting my ab ab is equal to your cd which is you need to prove so here it is hence proved so friend this is proved so you need to practice more and more so that uh, you will get good at this so friend that's all for today if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and press the bell icon for further notification without missing them Thank you friends for watching this video